GPU, massively parallel compute architecture, is now sitting beside the CPU serialized, um, you know, out of order architecture as peers. Now it's workload dependent, one might nudge above the other in importance. Um, and we believe that's this next inflection point that we've reached as an industry. Um, you know, our uh, competitor and partner, NVIDIA, might tell you, as we've seen them many times say, that the GPU is in fact more important than the CPU today based on the types of things that consumers are doing. And we believe that a couple of years from now when Intel delivers something like Larabee, they'll be wanting to sit you down and tell you that the, the GPU, massively parallel architecture, sits beside the CPU as a peer today. But they're going to kind of keep you focused on 3.2 gigahertz CPUs now featuring hafnium um, until they actually deliver a massively parallel architecture. What we have over here is an AMD game platform with a Phenom, the new Phenom 9950 at 2.6 gigahertz uh, with a new 790GX chipset. And it has two 4870s in crossfire mode. And over here, uh, we have an Intel system with a QX9650 at 3 gigahertz, an X48, and also two Radeon 4870s with, uh, in crossfire mode. So the only big difference here is the CPU and obviously the motherboard. And what we're going to show you here is basically it's a very consistent experience between the two platforms. This is Call of Duty 4. An awesome, uh, an awesome title, particularly when it's uh, resed up like it is right now. And as you can see, um, and if you can, you could dive in here and play it. Basically, the same experience. Now, a huge difference, though. Uh, this system is nine hundred dollars more expensive than the AMD game system over here, and primarily driven by uh, the processor cost and the motherboard. So what this says is essentially when it comes to Call of Duty 4, it's GPU limited, particularly when you're running it at the high resolutions uh, with anti-aliasing turned on, anastropic filtering up really high. And this is, a, this is a key change from where we were years ago. And it's not to say that the processor doesn't matter, but I think what it says here is that at $215 processor, not a $1,000 processor, you'll get a very similar experience. The key here is, is that, you know, what could you do with the extra $900? You could buy 20 game titles. Uh, you could buy a 27-inch monitor. You could buy a, a cool racing chair with a seat to play, your, uh, to play your F1 games. There's other stuff you could do with uh, that $900.